Hey, so I'm gonna keep the first part of this short. I am not gonna be able to stream tonight. I am in the process of moving into my new place. And in that process, I have pretty much dismantled my entire studio. So I do not have access to any of my streaming equipment. Um, maybe I can find a way to make it work next week. Um, but for this week, no. Also, I was doing a vibe giveaway through my Patreon. I'm probably gonna extend that into July. Reason being is I wanted to be able to promote it a lot and I had a lot of ideas for it, but I thought I was gonna be in here quicker and I thought I was gonna have my full setup quicker and it just did not end up going like that. So I'd much rather just give people the ability to win the Vive, but also give a lot of people the ability to know what's happening because I haven't really announced it. So there's that. Um, also, I have a really bad ear infection and every time I beatbox, it sounds like someone is blowing up inside of my head. So I haven't really been focused on doing music. Uh, I've been more focused on editing and trying to get videos out that are sponsored and you know, trying to get my YouTube channel back up and going. So that's the quick update. Um, now let's get to the long update. I'm moving into this place. Uh, Reese, like we, you know, uh, we've been working on it for a while and I'll, I'll, I'll kind of show it to you. So um, this is where I'll have my studio desk is, is in this like right here. And then this will be my bed. We got ductless AC, which for studios is absolutely amazing. Um, I'll be able to, you know, record and stream and not have zzz in the background. That'll be fucking awesome. This is the outside. Um, I actually have a really big porch, so it's gonna be cool. I plan on doing like stream ideas and just, you know, I'm probably gonna build like a workout. So I already have my little bench, but I'm gonna do more with that. And then I'm gonna do uh, like outside TV with a speaker. So maybe I could do DJ sets out here, invite some fans, something like that. I don't know. This is the uh, kitchenette we built. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like I don't, my, my parents freaked out on this. It's a quartz, it's super fucking pretty. This is a convection oven for those cooking streams. Uh, and yeah, that's how that looks. This is going to be the bathroom. Um, again, it's all such a nice, such a nice shower, dude. It's kind of trippy. So I'll probably be doing beatbox videos <laughs> in there a lot. Um, Cause you guys know me, I like to upload videos on my phone when I have thousands of dollars of equipment. Cause that's how I, uh, that's how I roll, bro. This is my walk-in. Um, it's kind of, there's nothing in it right now. It's kind of, Busy. I think, yeah, if you walk into it, it it turns on, which is pretty sick. And then, yeah, this is whatever. That's where the laundry will be. But I, uh, I'm i moving in here in about a day or two, and I am super excited. Um, you know, I just finished school, and I, I uh, you know, I'm going to work on an album in this room. That's the plan. And, you know, I... Uh, I feel like I'm starting my life, you know? My dad said that to me yesterday, because he, he asked me, what are you doing, what are you, when's your school over? You know, because I have one class left. And I told him, you know, uh, end of July. And he pretty much said, oh, well, that's when you get to start your life. And, you know, I'm super lucky to have this. Like, I am genuinely, uh, you know, I don't know if it's privilege. I don't know if that would be the identifying thing, but I, I'm just super lucky, you know. Uh, my parents have always inadvertently supported me. They don't give me like a direct support structure in terms of giving me, you know, music gear or, you know, doing doing stuff like that. They don't buy stuff directly from me like that, but they, like doing this has shown me that they, it's, this is gonna, this is gonna make me be able to work at a capacity that I was never able to. And I am super excited for everyone involved in what I do, which is you guys, and talking about what I do. Uh, I bought a new uh, desk with the money that I got for my album. Um, I made two very important decisions with the money that I got for the album, which is, I bought something called a Focusrite, or, or <laughs> sorry, a UAD Apollo X6. And with the X6, it's a, uh, it's a uh, rack mounted audio interface. It's used in most professional studios, but um, for this studio, 
it fits exactly what I want, which is being able to have like five different instruments put into it with UAD plugins. And then on top of that, have four Unison plugins because I also have a Focusrite Arrow. I mean, a UAD Arrow, sorry, I'm so used to Focusrite. I have a UAD Arrow that's going to be um, satellite chain to it, which is what I use right now for my streams. And I plan on, you know, rack mounting all my synths. I'm gonna start getting into my sequencer, which I bought about four months ago, but was unable to use because I knew that my studio was gonna get ruined. So I didn't wanna sit there and invest all this time into something and then have to rip it out. So uh, I invested in that. And the reason being is because, you know, I am really good at tracking. I understand I've been a tracking engineer probably more than any other type of engineer. And I've been hired to be a tracking engineer. So I don't really see myself not being able to record my album properly without that. And uh, I think that it was probably the main investment. The second investment would be obviously the mixing for my album. Uh, I hired the person who mixed and mastered Stick Around. Um, his name is Rob. I don't know his last name, unfortunately, but I, I use a, a platform called Sound Better to find him and he's really solid. And then the other person I hired, uh, he mixed and mastered the, uh, the album Little Hell by City and Color. So I hired him for two songs, which is a love song for no one. And then um, my other song that's like I used guitar with from the same time period about like, I think it was last year in February or this, yeah, last year. Um, so I'll be fully producing those songs with those two amazingly talented mixing and mastering engineers. But I, I wanted to create a tracking space that is suitable to do exactly what I want to do. And that's why I'm selling my desk. Uh, I have a Zor Misa Z. It's a great desk. It's a, it's, it's something I actually got as a sponsor and I never did a sponsor on it. And the reason being is it's uh, a little bit too small for me. Uh, what I mean by that is I am a big guy. I have a Herman Miller M body and the wheels on that are custom. They're a little bit too big for it. And I was unable to sit in my desk comfortably for a very long time. Like I would pull out the keyboard tray and I would have to like use my, use my uh, leg <laughs> to hold the keyboard tray. And then, you know, that's how I did a lot of my performances when I was in the studio that was originally in here. And it, it wasn't fun. And I thought about it a lot because, you know, I only made about $5,000 for the album. And then I had some private investments and, you know, I spent 2,500 on the mixing and mastering. And then I spent, you know, 2,100 on the X6. And I thought, you know what, if, if I'm going to invest in it, I probably should put a little bit of money in my own that I, you know, I had saved prior to you guys giving me all that money. And I put a, I put the rest into a desk by uh, AZ studio workstations called the Oxford six sticks, Oxford sit stand desk. And it's made by a dude named art in Los Angeles. And it's an 83 inch long desk uh, with four units of rack space. It has a elevated cabinet. So, you know, it's gonna work really well for the setup that I am imagining for it. And it, uh, it sit stands, which for me, the more I think about it, like I thought about it for a long time, actually, like a week, <laughs> I just fucking, I looked up every single sit stand configuration and I talked to people and just, I joined desk discords. I joined, <laughs> I joined like reddits that like were carpenters, but they made like, I did some, dude, I'm so weird. I get so into gear. I love it. And uh, I learned, you know, that this, like that, it, it, I'm not always going to be standing in it, but being able to stream VR. And this is like my main benefactor in spending $2,600 on a desk is it's handmade. Um, it's, it's real wood. You know, the, the, the current desk I have right now is plasterboard and uh, it's made in America, which I know sounds sketchy, but when you buy stuff from Europe, they have a lot lesser building standards than I, I feel like a lot of American made companies have for, uh, for like wood products or, you know, products that are considered high end. Uh, and, you know, I, I want to be able to use my entire setup in VR. That was like my major selling point is because when I move into here, I plan on doing a lot of VR content, like actual in VR content. Cause I, you know, I look at my channel and uh, man, I, I cannot express how it feels to have stick around getting as many 
plays as it is, you know? As a musician, I never really expected anything to blow up. It's, uh, it's kind of a weird feeling uh, to have a song that really means so much to me, gets so much attention, and um, it's kind of giving me the confidence to be like, I need to really take this seriously, and I need to, I need to push out YouTube content because it's, it's something that has always benefited me greatly. And, you know, ever since I got banned on Twitch, you, you see a very negative, like there's a lot of videos that turn out very negative or aren't to the standard of like just me having fun, you know? And I had a really weird realization with Stick Around being released of like, I can be confident in myself. There's no reason to be mad or aggressive or insecure about myself and compare myself to others when my music fucking slaps, you know what I mean? Like no one makes music like me. And you know, that, that kind of like artistic realization kind of makes it so much easier to just say, all right, whatever, <laughs> you know, my song slaps, fuck you type of mentality. And I, I don't know, like it, it's really helped. It's, it's helped me to kind of gauge what I want to do. What I want to do is be exactly what I always wanted to be, which is a variety channel. You know, I, uh, I tried to do VR chat alone for a long time and I don't think it has the same stick anymore, uh, in terms of what I was doing with it, which is singing for waifus and all this stuff. Cause I'm literally in love with the girl I met on VR chat five months ago. <laughs> and I, I think it's, you know, I can still do it funnily and it's not like I'm never going to do it again, but I, I don't think it has the same intention to people as it did back then when I was like singing for a wife, you know, like it's, it's funny, but I, you know, as a 26 year old and someone who just got out of school and someone who like actually has music that I feel is valid and, you know, is doing well, I, I don't think I need to bullshit that anymore. You know, like there's so much more content out there that I could do. And I look at my channel and that's what I want to do. You know, I want to, I want to be a variety channel and that's going to require me to do VR content. It's something I was always afraid to. Like I have friends that I never hit up to do stuff, you know, and I can totally do stuff with them. Cause like, I don't need to always be funny. That's what I've realized is I don't need to always be funny and I don't always need to be super musical. Like I can just be myself. And I feel like when I, when I, when I'm not trying too hard to do something perfectly, uh, it just comes out. So it translates so much better to screen, you know, and I think that's what I want to do. So this, this is my new setup. That's the just, you know, that's the justifications for what I spent my money on when it comes to my studio. I've had a lot of people be like, you don't need, <laughs> you don't need money. Cause I'm doing uh this, this, like my debt, which my debt is actually more than what I say it is on the fucking school debt, because I also have credit card debt, I have car debt. Um, people are saying, you know, I think it's easy to look at someone who just made a lot of money as a streamer and say, you yeah, fuck, you don't need anything. But, um, you know, I, what I do need <laughs> is to remain consistent and understand that like, I, I, I help you guys understand that I don't bullshit with my money. Like I, to everyone's like my dad hates how much money I spend on music stuff, but it's like I invest everything I get right back into me. Like Pity Party is done. Pity Party has every all the working parts that a label would come in and pay for and all that shit completely done. I have the artist, the guy that does all the art right here, Jesse J. I have the artist. I have I have the mixing and mastering some from one of my favorite albums on earth. Like the person who literally created it is going to be doing it. I have the tracking space, you know, um, I, I'm, I'm excited to get in the studio and just get it done. And when pity parties out, I feel like it's not going to completely change who I am, but it's going to give me uh, a level of artistic integrity that I wasn't finding as someone who just made meme songs, you know, and I love meme songs. And I think that I'm always going to try to find a middle ground. <laughs> I like the idea of someone who doesn't know who I am and they come to my Spotify and they find this like this weird like mixture of like heartfelt, genuine, interesting songs with like, you know, with our well produced and well thought out and then like memes. <laughs> I just I love that as something that I've, you know, 
I, I've had a lot of thoughts of changing my branding or maybe being Austin O'Brien for my lo-fi shit and this or that, but it's, it's consistently proven to me that like the only brand that I need to be is myself. And I feel like what I've created with Mr. Wobbles as a project is, you know, is perfectly understandable to a lot of people because it's a lot of random things. And I, I really just think it's like my little ADHD like projection <laughs> onto the world. So yeah, I am sorry that I just talked so much. Uh, I don't know really what my point was there about the school debt. Oh yeah, I, I invest most of my money back into my stuff, so I'm not trying to flex. I don't like to be like that. I'm just, you know, I really care about being able to provide high quality streams. And like I bought a new camera too, which is gonna be amazing for the ideas I have for IRL content, which is like Fiverr. Um, really wanna do some Fiverr videos. I wanna do a lot of reviews for gear on my second channel here because, you know, I, I'm tired of buying gear. <laughs> And I know so much about it that companies should be sucking my dick to talk about what they sell because I know how to sell their shit and I know how to talk about it because I know how to use it. And I'm also a very concise camera. Like this is one take. Most people could not talk to a camera for like 10, 15, 20 minutes and make it as concise as I like to think that I do. So, you know, I, I, have, I have a lot of ideas is what I'm trying to say. And you know, it, like none of this, literally I would not have this place um, I would not fucking be able to do what I do for a living. I would not, I would be, I'd probably be working roofing or carpet cleaning, which is what I was doing while I've, I've worked that while doing YouTube, but I probably would have been doing that mainly. Um, so you guys have consistently made it so Mr. Wobbles can happen. And I still feel like it's an accident, but it's an accident that's flourishing into some things that feel really, really, really real. And, uh, like, I feel like people in my life that would make fun of Mr. Wobbles or, you know, <laughs> use a B book, you know, like use a B book type of thing. Like those people are now like, Oh <laughs> shit. Like that's crazy. That's dude. Good job. You know? So you guys are translating my dream to other people in a way they understand it. And I wanted to make this update video and I've tried to do this like four times, but every time I can interrupt it for some reason, uh, you know, I wanted to make this because I wanted to thank you guys for that and all the money you give me, but also, you know, the, the support as a person. Um, like I said, I don't really have many friends in my life. Um, YouTube is a, is a weirdly lonely job <laughs> for entertaining thousands of people. I feel like it's the loneliest job in terms of the output you're giving and what you're receiving in your actual real world um, from friends and stuff. And, you know, I've, I've made the extra effort to build this community and you know, fucking my Patreon community and have these people that are completely real and provide me with support for my artistry, for all the crazy ideas I have at 3 a.m. in my Discord, for, you know, I've had people fly me out to meet them and do shows for them. And, I, you know, like I, I love genuine human interaction and I try to express that. And what's weird is I get the most genuine human interaction from the people who watch me. And that's something I'm extremely thankful for. Um, Cause most people that do YouTube just do like random gaming content and no one really, like there's no depth to the community that they have, you know? I've had this talk with my manager um, who, you know, we, we talk about, he, he, he gets me sponsors. I've started to get sponsors too, which has been crazy. It's fucking awesome. But he gets me sponsors and he, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's told me like there's people that he works for that, you know, he'll get them this huge deal because they get all these views and the engagement or the pass through from like the creator to the community is so, so like it's, it doesn't exist. Like, you know, the, the dude just makes videos that gets into an algorithm and does not care about the people that watch him. And then he said with me, my channel is freakish because I have like my like comment, you know, um, like view to interaction ratio is insane. And, you know, I, I think it's because like my content reflects the people that I want and I want every single one of you, even if you're a fucking weirdo, even if you're a furry, I'm just kidding. That's, I don't know. No furries allowed, but like, if you are, it's not a big deal, but like, come on, man, like chill. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, you know, I, I really do feel lucky. I really do. And I, I feel like this is the first time in my life where I haven't stressed about tomorrow. And, you know, I've seen so many people share videos of them listening to stick around. And I, I wish people understood how much that video and that song means to me as a person because it, it wasn't something I ever thought I'd release. And it was something that just kind of came out of me and to see it help and, and be there for other people is, I, <laughs> it's, 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 it feels really weird, dude. It feels really weird. It's, it's, it's not even, it's, it doesn't boost my ego. I wouldn't say that, but it just makes me, it makes me feel insane that there's people that give my art like the depth that I always wanted it to give to other people. And I, I don't know. I've had a lot of really happy feelings in the past couple of months. And that combined with having a beautiful girlfriend that like is just so fucking dope is it's, it's crazy, dude. Like I'm sitting in this place that I'm going to make my future out of. And I'm talking to the people that are going to help me and aid me and watch me do it. So thank you. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, make sure to go to the Patreon if you want. Uh, make sure to stream my, my music and let's talk in the comments because I have nothing else to do because I don't have my fucking computer and I can't play games. So I literally have been going insane not having something like a computer because that's what I've been doing for the past three years straight. It feels weird. Like I want to go to Joshua Tree and like fucking catch lizards. I looked that up last night. Like I don't know what's going on. Okay, so talk to me, please. All right? Mwah.